Welcome to Conjuring Rock, where we enjoy all season camping and fishing. It's number 12, the 12th month, the last episode of the Frontenac Challenge. I've never been to the Doe Lake campsite before, it's site number two, uh, so let's go check it out and do some ice fishing. So my plan, start here, just like the sign says, and then we're gonna go down here, keep going past the camp mine because we have too much stuff to carry and we're gonna go to the lookout down the lookout onto the lake because our campsite is down here oh, I'm a little out of shape so I'm walking the uh, doe trail here and uh, pretty appropriately I've seen some deer tracks they seem to follow the trail By far the most difficult Frontenac challenge so far. Well, there it is. The Doe Lake Lookout. One of them. Well, made it onto the ice. The ice feels really solid. I feel like I might throw up. We're good, we're good. I made it. Wow, that was a hike. I haven't done anything like that in quite a while. <sighs> so whenever you start sweating like that and you're hiking in the winter and you know you're gonna be outside for a while, you wanna try and get dry as soon as possible. So right when I got to camp, I uh, set up my tent and got out of my wet clothes and got into something a little bit more dry. Hopefully those will dry up a little bit for tomorrow. Um, if not, then I'll just be wearing these again. Hopefully I don't sweat again. Somebody was very thoughtful and left all this kindling for me. Make it nice and easy to get a fire started. I'll try and leave some behind for the next people. It's a beautiful sight here at Doe Lake. Now to start a fire. I'm gonna boil up some water for a tea and a cup of soup, and then I'm gonna start making dinner. So for supper, I'm having these kebab things here and some rice with some veggies. Should be a nice, hearty, filling meal. Supper looks awesome. There's the kebabs. The sticks kind of fell apart. And then, here's the rice. Pretty simple, but it's gonna keep me warm. I slept pretty well. I'm gonna just make some coffee, make some oatmeal, and then uh, I think I'm gonna go fishing. Okay, since I don't have to hike out with the same amount of weight that I had before, it should be a little bit easier. I don't have all that wood that I came in with because I burned most of it. The rest of it I actually put underneath here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to load up a few of the heavier items into these bags so I can strap it down to the sled, take some of the weight off my back, put some of the weight in the sled because right now the sled is practically empty except maybe the ax and the fish finder. So spread out some of the weight. Should be an easier hike out, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I'm all packed up, ready to do some ice fishing. Got the chest cam on. Let's see if I can pull anything through the ice. That would be wonderful. Before we do that, I wanna say special thanks to Lindsay. Uh, you've seen her on our channel before. <laughs> she was kind enough to lend me her backpack and it has been awesome. I really want one now. 
So this was fully charged when I came out here and I just started it up, lasted for three seconds, battery empty. Not low, empty. So, I got it charging, hopefully we'll get the chest cam on soon. But I can't have you all the way back here if I'm catching fish. Come on out. Feet. Some flickers on the bottom. Yeah, something's following me up. Oh yeah, here we go. Cool. Oh, it's a crappie. They do exist in this lake. Awesome. That is fantastic. It's not a bad slab, that's all right. So the fine gentleman at Canadian Tire, he directed me right, told him I was looking for crappie, didn't know if there's crappie in the lake, and he said, well, here, here's what I use. This thing, Berkeley Power Bait, just on a, I think it's a 1.8 jig head. Oh yeah, here comes another one. Yep. This one's fighting a little bit better. Oh, it's about the same size. Cool, number two. <laughs> so there are crappie in Doe Lake. Yep. Yeah, that one's a bit better than all the rest. Uh, about eight and three quarters, not bad. Oh yeah. All right, <laughs> that one's smaller. Still, another crappie. So that's cool. I guess I found them, and I guess I found what they want to eat. You don't often get that lucky. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Another little slab. <laughs> this little guy. This feels a bit better. Oh, that's a fat perch. Look at that jumbo. Wow. Look at that thing. <laughs> well, I was pretty happy to catch some crappie, and that jumbo perch was just a bonus. That's awesome. Okay, let's get back to the car. I can hardly believe it. 12 months Frontenac challenge complete. I plan on doing a recap of all 12 months, so look forward to that next month. And uh, hit that like button if you liked what you saw. The hike back wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, anyways, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and you want to see more camping and fishing. And uh, we'll catch you later.